Unfortunately, I let my intrusive thoughts get the best of me because we're gonna go take family photos, but I'm gonna dress like Steve Harvey and my man doesn't even know. <laughs> Is this diabolical? Yes. Do I care? No. <laughs> from Goodwill. Um, <laughs> why are these so tiny? Ew. <laughs> this is the best I can do. <laughs> oh my God. Look at the. Oh, this is perfect. <gasps> no, no. I wanted this to be like really special and no, memorable. No, you look like Steve Harvey. That's exactly who I'm trying to be like. <laughs> I can't stand you. You look. I cannot. Can I get married for you? I love Thank the fits. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. I look so good. She's an icon. She's a legend, and she is the moment. <laughs> Run. Um, can you just give me like five minutes? She's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the most. <laughs> Jump scare. We're not doing this again. What is she even supposed to be, Hulk Hogan? <laughs> Hulk Hogan. <laughs> you look like a little orange ballerina. You look tangerine. <laughs> I don't know why everyone's staring at me. Don't be scared. It's Black Friday in July. <laughs> Just keep going. into LeBron James and my man literally has no idea. <laughs> so I picked up some cute girly pop things from the mall. <laughs> I had to get the 23 jersey. Why is this actually like really cute? Ouch. I'm trying to give it my wall. I'm like, mm. 
this Jesus looking beard. It came with a wig and everything. He gonna cut all that off. The beard is giving though. Look at the body wave. Mr. James, if you see this, just know me and my husband are really, really big fans and Michael Jordan can never. And if we could please get courtside seats so we could see what Ronnie played for the first time, that'd be great. But like, no pressure, no pressure. Going on a date, dressed as Levering James. Hey, Bookie. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Was you supposed to be James Harden? <laughs> no, I'm supposed to be LeBron James. LeBron James. LeBron James. Take it off. No, I'm not Take taking it, it off. off. All is life. <laughs> so trash. You're a disgrace to LeBron James. Brick. <laughs> This is not your house. This is Michael Jordan's house. Uh, uh. It says 23. That does not mean nothing. This is Jordan. We live in Chicago. Uh, can you do a photo shoot? Oh, jump scare. <laughs> Oh my god. Y'all not finna jump her, and y'all not finna tag team nothing.
I think we have a problem. This is gonna be really bad. Ow! Oh my god. I didn't think she would survive. This is so cool. They even got a bald spot, ridges, the wig cap, they got everything. First of all, my name is Andrea. It's not Odrea, it's not Sodrea, it's Drea. I'm also a Gemini for those of you who are wondering. Oh, that's my song, hold on. Before I started doing content, I was actually a nanny. I love kids. I told them that I was quitting to do TikTok and they were actually really, really supportive. When I was in high school, I was a cheerleader. So I had practice flying at practice and stuff like that, but I still wasn't that confident in my skills. We were cheering at a varsity game. We start doing our cheer. I go up and I come crashing down in front of the whole entire gym. Everybody's laughing at me. I'm freaking out on the verge of tears. It wasn't like, oh my God. <laughs> Michael Jordan! Scissors. You're good at this. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs>
It's so upsetting when you think you have your whole day planned out and then you run into thing one and thing two looking as raggedy as they do. Knowing dang well, I don't take walk-ins. To be honest with you, I only took them because I needed extra money when I go to my trip to Puerto Rico. <laughs> Since this was a surprise appointment, I have to do whatever I can do to hurry up and get them up out of here because I have to go catch a flight. Like my man is literally waiting for me at the airport as we speak. And I know exactly what you're thinking. Why would you cut off that little girl's hair like that? And honestly, I only did it because her hair was matted and it was tangled and her mama didn't want to pay a detangling fee of $500 so I got to do what I got to do okay so boom a previous client left this hair at my salon a few days ago and I kept it because you never know when you're gonna need extra hair it wasn't even a full bundle so she got a bald spot but she doesn't know so we're gonna keep it on the DL and now for her sister her raggedy little ugly sister I gave her the Ariana Grande pony and I have no regrets <laughs> and if you're looking to book the service it'll be a thousand dollars thank you Her head literally feels like a cement block. you right there while you over there looking at me like that Who wants it?
Oh. Okay. Oh. At this point, I don't know when I'm going to learn the consequences of my actions because clearly I did not think this one out. Fuck this shit, I'm out. I tried to be nice and let Tiana do my hair today, but let's just say that didn't work out quite as I thought it would. This was absolutely the most ghetto, ratchet, unruly behavior I've ever seen in my life. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Drea, are you serious? Ow. Like, you really saw this coming, didn't you? No, no, I did not. I swear, I have chunks of hair missing from this incident. This is the part where she gently yagged my hair and she flung into the camera. But I have to say that this is actually a full circle moment for me right now. It makes me realize that Tiana is a reflection of me and I am a reflection of her. And I just think that's beautiful. <laughs> like, for real. Look at this. I'm literally letting a child punk me. Like, that's crazy. That's really crazy. And it was all fun and games until it wasn't. <laughs> Ice pack for me.
it's time for me to tell you the untold story of how I got banned from prom. I know this happened years ago, but it's a part of my villain origin story. So listen up. Guys, this prank was literally so stupid. To my old principal, we still have B to this day. It wasn't even the principal, it was the assistant principal, but you wish you was the principal. So the plan was to do the prank during lunch period. This is a true story about a so once the hallways were empty, we were like, okay, coast is clear, like, let's get this. Shit. We had silly string, we had tissue. We didn't want to like damage property. We didn't want people to get hurt. So I just remember going crazy in the bathroom with the silly strings. I'm throwing tissue. Like we turned the bathroom into a mummy. Y'all know what season it is? It's baddie season! Ah! You already know I'm about to have the 30 inch bust downs on point, period, point blank. My girl Tiana has been walking around looking crusty, dusty, and musty, so it's time for her to get a makeover. And you already know that all of my bundles are in fact imported. <laughs> We got Malaysian, Peruvian, Brazilian, Indian, Puerto Rican. I even went to Argentina to get some hair from Buenos Aires. I went and scalped the people myself. Thank you very much. Okay, don't come for me. Don't come for me. But I did, in fact, leave the salon to go get a snack because I was hungry. I know I only laid down one track, but I'm a hardworking woman. Okay, give me a break. So now we're just melting down the lace because I wanted to give scalp. Okay, and being the great hairstylist that I am, I'm giving her tattooed edges. We all know Tiana don't got no edges so we gotta work with what we got we got her a new outfit we got some jewelry new shoes a headband like stop playing with me y'all know i'm that type of hairstylist for real tt what do you think about my hair today i think the curls look fake i don't like the cut it looks like you bought a wig from the dollar store you know, there's a way you can say things to people without hurting someone's feelings. You can say, you know, maybe I might not love that. You know, I might not love your haircut or the lace or your curls. But if you feel comfortable walking around like that, then that shows how much confidence you have. Here we go! Here the f we go! 
I read on Google once that no one has ever given birth to more than 10 children at a time. Well, they must have not met me. Hey girl, my name is Drea and I'm a mother of 16. <laughs> but my main three girls, their names are TT, Cece, and Didi. The other 13 do not have names because I can't keep up with them. Period, point blank. Don't ask me no questions. Thank you. So this right here is Cece. She told me that she wanted to have like a midnight blue majestic vibe. Is given by Bibiana. This definitely fits in with her vibe it goes with her personality period point blank my girl be eating the girls up okay <laughs> this is my girl Dee, Dee. not too much on Dee, Dee. we're gonna give her a green wig and the reason why i'm giving each of my kids different color wigs is because they're all starting to blend in at this point and i need to be able to tell them apart sugar spice and everything nice the powerpuff girls were born i did that i did that yes i did Ew. It still stinks. It looks like melted skin. Ew. Oh my god, what the f So I'm just sitting on the couch enjoying my day. You know how I do. <laughs> Y'all know I'm a hardworking woman. <laughs> when all of a sudden I just feel a disgusting presence. Now if I was smart, I would have got up and got my keys and left. She was a fairy. And if you think this is where the torture ends, you are absolutely wrong. We just getting started. So I decided to make myself some breakfast and some coffee because I'm not about to let nobody run me up out of my house, period, point blank, especially not a child. My mindset moving forward was either we can swap or you can catch these hands, period, point blank, pull up because you're not about to keep sneaking me in my own house. Let me just say she did in fact choose to pull up and catch these hands and I just was not mentally prepared for that. Y'all not gonna jump her and y'all not gonna tag team nothing. You got a problem. What's up? Like, run, Y'all, this was the most sinister thing I've ever seen in my life. I might have lost this battle, but let me tell you something. She better sleep with one eye open. 
Oh my god, what the f Hey Pookie, this is the day in the life of a mother of 16. I know you can only see five of my children right now. The other ones are with, um, they're at daycare. Because I can only take care of a few of them at a time. Don't ask me why, it's just the way I operate, it's the way I'm built. So if you got a problem, you can go complain to somebody else because I'm not listening. I'm sorry. A period point blank. Thank you very much. So I woke them up and I made them a really good home cooked meal. As you can see, TT is eating it up. She can't get enough. So this is me working hard. Well, actually, I put my kids to work because this is how you build a good structured home and you don't raise little spoiled brats. I teach them how to cook. I teach them how to clean while I sit there and do nothing. I honestly don't think that that's a problem. A lot of people don't like the way I parent, but guess what they're my family not yours like i said cry to your mother about it i really don't give up so as you can see we're just having a really loving moment watching tv as a family together these moments are just so special to me but this is the part where my man comes home and now my duties are done for the day thank you very much I'm still a redhead and I'm still a baddie. My man is really feeling my hair, so he wants to take me out on a date. I mean, how could he not? <laughs> I like to keep my man on his toes. He never knows what to expect from me because I'm unpredictable. I have to show you guys my outfit. Now, on the shit, now. It's giving 1800s baddie if you know what I'm talking about. He has no idea that I'm gonna wear this. I got a lot of hair, so we gotta fit it all in this little tiny stocking cap. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, period. Yeah, I'll be ready in like just a second. No, don't come in. Hey Pookie, so me and Tiana, we're about to hit the streets and we're about to go to Target and we're about to shop till we drop. My man left me his credit card for the day. He's like, oh, just take care of yourself and the girls. We'll get this. The other 15 of the girls are with their grandma because they didn't want to join me. So it's just me and TT and we about to go to the store and eat the girls up. Okay. <laughs> First and foremost, I got to make sure TT has clothes for the summer because she has absolutely none and she needs some books because she's just not excelling in reading. Let's just be honest. Okay. So I'm having a good time ha ha he he and then i look around and my daughter is not by my side and i'm like where did she go this little girl decided to hide in the clothing racks i'm crying i'm hollering and then she pops up and is like peekaboo as if like 10 seconds ago i wasn't crying throwing up screaming on the floor we ended up at the park and let me tell you she completely embarrassed
embarrass me. Like she had other parents looking at us like we was the crazy family. Like we were that family at the park. And I have to take her to the hospital because she broke her tibula and her fibula. And that was our day. Bye y'all. Hey girl, so we got a hair emergency. My girl TT is looking ugly, crusty, dusty, and musty, and I need to fix it. So she told me that she wants to look like Sabrina Carpenter, and I was like, <laughs> say less because I know I'm about to eat it up. I traveled the seven seas for this hair, and we finally got the perfect shade of blonde. What country did I get it from? Oh my god. I think it was Argentina. Wait, wait, wait. No, it was actually Brazil. I went to the Brazilian girls and they hooked me up. Period, point blank. I scalped the people myself. Thank you very much. <laughs> so I'm just giving her some really cute curls. We spraying it down and she said that she wanted a little touch of blue. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. Sorry for the jump scare, Bookie. Okay, my girl's ready to slay the house down, period, point blank. My girl is given a whoop jump scare. Why do I want to dye my hair again? You know, the Ice Spice hair, it was cute. It was fun. I was like really feeling the ginger. But like now, I want to do like that fiery red, like hot Cheeto red. <laughs> this is the Curl Smith hair makeup in the color Ruby. Wait, that's actually really cute. It's like a dark red because I was a little worried I was like I don't want to look like a hot Cheeto puff but I kind of want to look like a hot Cheeto puff but this is the finished look I was a little scared to be committed I'm not gonna lie this is definitely a vibe
children. Is anyone hungry? Oh, the big boy come, big boy come. <laughs> Here you go, little thing. Hello, babies. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. I took my bowl. Oh, oh my god. Well, my bowl is gone. You're so cute. What is that? I am someone? Oh, what are those? Unicorns. Is it? Oh, hell no, man. Those ostriches. They wild? Yes. What? No, I want to feed them. Okay, you feed them. <laughs> You do not drop the bowl, Dre. I'm not gonna drop the bowl. Girl, stop playing with us right now. Hello, children. Is anyone hungry? Okay, okay. Oh, the big okay. boy come, big okay. boy come. Nothing for you, baby. You gotta go. Look at her little hand. <laughs> Who wants it? Oh my god, who wants it? Ouch. Oh my god. Do you see the hairs? Super cute. Literally twins. I'm so fascinated yet so scared all at the same time. Helicopter, helicopter. Hey, Pookie. So Tiana was telling me that she's done with the Sabrina Carpenter vibes and she's ready for a new look. Y'all, so tell me why when I was doing her hair, I got glue all over my new Lululemon jacket. I was done for the day. I kicked her out the salon and I told her to go home and to never come back because the audacity is insane. I let her come back because <laughs> I'm never gonna miss out on a check. So Tiana was telling me that she wants to do like a Billie Eilish look for the summertime. You already know since the summertime is coming, we gotta show up and show out and that's on period it's about to be summertime and y'all still hating like so this is the part where it just started to go left like i really thought i was doing my thing but i started looking at the instructions because i'm like why does it look like that like <laughs> and it was giving billy eyelash it was not giving billy eyelash <laughs> i was just like mad confused but once it started to dry it just honestly looked so much better and i was a little shocked i was like okay i did not botch this hairstyle i actually came through and i delivered but i ended up charging her an extra 118 dollars because she ruined my lululemon jacket <laughs> we're already cooking <laughs> Nail check. So cute. This was the best I could find. We gotta do what we gotta do, okay? <laughs> Don't come for me. <laughs>
cans. These are our last two cans. I didn't realize how much I needed. Now we're cooking. We're cooking for real this time. The real question is, what am I gonna do with it? I'm scared. Please don't pop in my eye. This cannot be good. Okay. Okay. I did it. Um, don't try this at home. Ooh. Oh, that is so pretty. Like, can you guys be quiet? <laughs> it's so heavy. Here we go! Here the fuck we go! Hey Pookies! So today Tiana came in my salon talking about how she wants a balayage and some peekaboo highlights and I said oh period say less. Now if I'm being honest I really didn't have a good experience bleaching her hair before because it literally came out in chunks. I'm not even kidding. But that's because I left the bleach on too long but this time I'm really trying to be a better person and I only left it on for like 10 minutes and I swear to god it came off in chunks once again like literally chunks but honestly i'm not even that surprised <laughs> <laughs> it was actually really funny though I'm not even gonna lie but because I still want to collect my check at the end of the day I did try to save her hair <laughs> it was no saving this I swear to god it was no saving it but I did try cutting off her dead ends but her ends were so dead it turned into a mullet a little business in the front and a party in the back <laughs> bye it's summertime. I'm not always gonna want my hair in my face. Like sometimes you just wanna pull it back. So I wanna try this hairstyle. This could be really good or really bad. Is my part straight? Oh my god, what the f So now my hair is parted. I'm gonna tie it up and then connect it to this one. Oh my god. Oh my god! But this is what we have so far. <laughs> oh my god! This is coming out so cute. I'm like so excited. <laughs> Yo heart to stone. Oh my god. Why did I do this to myself? One last section, and then I'm gonna be looking like a baddie for the summer. <laughs> we did it. We did it, Joe. We did it, Joe. <laughs> um, hold on. <laughs> I gotta figure something out because ain't no way. It's not giving puff boy. I want it to give a meat boy. Like, why does it look? <laughs> Cut the camera. Still a baddie, always gonna be a baddie. I look like I'm about to go on vacation though, like. Okay, I like it now, I like it. Nail check, how cute are these nails? <laughs> now we're good. Let's go bigger, go bigger, go home. We need more. It needs to be bigger. dyeing my hair today because I'm insane. Can we just give a moment for the beat? I want to dye my hair blue. I want to look like a mermaid. Okay, period, point blank. Don't ask me no questions. Thank you very much. So we're going to be using the Curlsmith hair makeup in the color turquoise. Okay, so we're just... Why is it leaking? Why is it like liquid? Did it melt? Let's do a strand test. Oh, this is cute. You. This is what it's looking like so far. I really don't want to do the back of my head. So this is the finished look. I don't know. I thought it was going to be like more vibrant. This is coming out like water. I don't know what that's about. It's not giving what I thought it was going to give. I'm really trying to make it work, okay? Is it cute or am I being dramatic?
Miss Girl is looking crusty, dusty, and musty. So we're gonna turn her into Nicki Minaj. Honestly, I feel like if I had pink hair, it would be a vibe. Yo, 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 yo. You should just let me We're gonna make this wig give scalp. We want it to look like it's coming from the root. So we laid the first track down and my girl is eating! <laughs> gets messed up not the banger. we're just gonna oh my god that did nothing why do we keep doing that she cannot be Nicki minaj with a bang like this 40 inch little parted literally hd lays can't see the lace can't see the glue so today i'm gonna do something that i've never done before and that's making a home cooked meal we're starting a new segment girls cooking with drea I'm making a chicken for me and my man. Got nothing in my brain. We're gonna give her a bath because you need to wash your meat. Oh my god, I'm scared. I'm gonna just set her. Oh my god, it's open. She's all clean. I'm gonna be a little generous. Look at Miss Girl. A few moments later. Did I do it? You did your big one. Oh my god! Daddy Daddy shot a clock! No, it's quick to do Daddy Daddy shot a clock, man! It's safe to say that I ate, I devoured. Thank you very much. 